What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally back with some more videos. And today, we're gonna introduce to you the new beater, new beater, our old Mitsubishi Mighty Max. This truck is a 1989 pickup truck, Mitsubishi Mighty Max. The name is cool as hell. I picked this truck up for under a thousand bucks and it drove all the way from Ohio back to New York twice. And we're gonna show you around. It's an all-around nice truck, um, two-wheel drive, four-cylinder, five-speed manual transmission, only 164,000 miles on it, and the thing's just all-around cool. It's got a nice cap on it, so I can sleep in the, on the side of the road if I ever wanted to. It's got nice murdered-out tints. Look at that nice interior. Look at that. Would you look at it? Nice pair of shoes in there. Look at that. The radio, you know. Sick radio. It's detachable. You can just walk around with it. It's pretty, it's pretty lit. If I don't say so myself. Uh, no power steering. You know, you know, power steering. You know. <coughs> uh, like I said, five-speed manual transmission. Uh, it's just an all-around beater with a heater. The heat works amazing in it. And it's good that it does because it's freaking cold out here in November in New York. Winter's coming. It's already here. I hate it already. So uh, we're gonna go for a ride. Let's get to it. So guys, we're in the Mitsubishi Mighty Max and this truck has just been nothing but good to me. Uh, it's got the two liter, four cylinder engine, carbureted, uh, little carb. Uh, it had the automatic choke on it, it's broken. It don't like it don't like to run in the cold, but we're making the best of it. No power steering. It does have AC though. Not that it works or anything, but it does have AC. So maybe one day we'll get that fixed. Put the radio back here. Uh, Five-speed manual transmission. Uh, it works. It shifts like shifts like butter. The shift pushings are a little loose. You don't have to pay no mind to that. But it's just the drive. Like the clutch feels like brand new. It's just it's smooth. You know, I'm so used to driving a one-ton truck and it rides like shit. Uh, this is just kind of rides like a boat. It's a little bumpy, but uh, it's nice. It's nice. You know, you know, e-brake don't work, but you really need it anyway. I don't need it. But this truck is uh, it's a good. It's a good truck. Uh, I bought it off of a kid in my class in college, which I uh, just completed actually. No more college for this guy. Uh, I, mean, I was always looking for a little truck. If you uh, <laughs> if you don't know me personally, uh, I had a I had a mini truck before this, and it was a '91 Nissan hard body. And uh, we beat the shit. That that truck is the reason this channel exists. Uh, we were gonna make videos just around that. We were drifting and everything, and uh, I blew it up. So. <laughs> we uh, we have another mini truck on the channel. Uh, for right now, we're just gonna daily drive it. You know, save save the wear and tear on the 7.3. You know, save some money on our pocket for gas and for fuel. And we're just gonna drive this. You know, we're not gonna beat on it too hard. But <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna drive it and. Uh, it's a nice truck. It drives really smooth. The, the steering, with no power steering, is very responsive. And uh, the heat works amazing in here. I feel, I have feeling back in my ears already. It's freezing outside, but this thing is just amazing. I am in love with this truck. 
for no reason. I just, I love junk, basically. Junk is just, it, it amazes me. But we're just gonna go around the block a little bit and just show you what this truck's about. Uh, we're gonna do a couple through the gear poles and everything. Not that this thing is, this thing is the definition of slow, but <laughs> it's awesome. It's slow and fun. You know, it handles, it handles like a 89 pickup. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst I've ever driven handling. But, you know, it takes corners pretty well. It body rolls a little bit because the suspension's so soft. But all around, for what I paid for it, it is a good truck for what I paid for. I would never pay more than a thousand dollars for this thing. I paid under a thousand bucks for it. This truck is been nothing but good to me. I <laughs> knock on wood, whatever, wood somewhere. I have not broken down yet. And hopefully it stays that way. But people love these trucks, you know. I see these trucks around all over the place with cool swaps in them, uh, you know, V8s turbo four cylinders just the, the swap like the swaps you can do in these things are amazing and hopefully we can do that i don't know maybe we'll see what happens in the coming years hopefully maybe springtime or something but this truck's just great <coughs> we're gonna get to the end of this row we're gonna get on straight away we'll do a one through five pull and uh we'll just show you like this truck it's slow but it's so fun to drive On the main road here, we're gonna do a one through five pull. the slightest grade shouldn't have made any difference but uh it made a difference because uh this thing has no power but we're hoping to change that uh but we're gonna make some minor adjustments to it uh i need to dial in the cold start and uh just the cold temperature operation because uh, it doesn't want to stay i have to keep it running you know just like tapping the foot tapping the gas pedal and just keep it running until it warms up it misfires a lot at uh when it's cold, when I idle, it runs a little rough. I put new plugs and new wires in it, and it has a new cap on it and rotor for the distributor. So all that is good. It runs a lot better than it did when I first got it. It ran pretty poopy, and I drove it nine hours from Ohio with it running like poopy. But now we're just gotta get the carburetor dialed in, I have no knowledge at all on carburetors, on cars at least. I have car I have carburetor knowledge on old tractors, and they are not even a little bit the same. So we're gonna uh, hopefully do some research, find out what to do with this carburetor, or take it somewhere and have someone know what they're that knows what they're doing, uh, dialing in a little bit, because I want this thing to be. No issues, I mean, the issues are very minimal right now, but I want it to be more minimal than it is right now. I just don't want to have to like, you know, left foot brake and keep it running and potentially get into an accident, which probably won't happen, but you know, you can never know with these days and people driving and everything. Like, they're freaking old man crossing the street right now. Like, come on, what the hell are you doing, man? Walk somewhere else. <laughs> but, yeah, this, this truck is a, it's a great truck. Uh, we got a lot of things to, you know, just work some couple kinks out. Um, the cat might come off come springtime. It needs paint. It looks like it needs. But we're going to paint it maybe. Or just get rid of it completely. Uh, 
I'm not really worried about the rust and stuff on this. See, I'm on a hill right now and I have to downshift because uh, it just has no power. But uh, the truck's really comfortable to sit in and drive. Uh, it's pretty decent on gas, not really, but it's cheaper to fill up than it is my truck. And uh, yeah, so expect some more videos on this. Expect some more videos in general now that I am back in New York for a long time. Uh, we're gonna get some videos out and we're gonna <coughs> do some more shenanigans content with the boys because now that I'm home I could do that and we're just gonna have an all-out fun time so make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you hit the like button on this video make sure you go check out my other videos make sure you subscribe to the channel because you will not be disappointed with the content we are coming out with and it'll be great and now we're gonna do a little rip ski see if it can handle it. I've never been on this truck before. We're gonna see if it can do it. I don't know if it's gonna do it in a second, so we'll try it in first instead. But who knows? Hopefully we don't break nothing. That'd be some shit, huh? Oh god. Yeah, this thing sucks! Nah, it's it's a good truck. It doesn't <laughs> it can't get beat on. So that's a good thing I guess. But uh that was uh was not good. I shouldn't do that anymore. I'm probably gonna, but <laughs> at least when I have like money to fix it, because uh, your boy broke. But that's all for uh, the introduction of the Mighty Max. Make sure, uh, yeah, you do all that stuff. You know, like, subscribe, and uh, check out all the other videos. Stay tuned for more videos of this and more videos of my other junk. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of other videos. Make sure you stay tuned. So when we jump that. We're gonna jump over that off a bridge. It's gonna be Sorry, great. Having trouble with the connection. Shut the fuck up! Oh, yeah, I don't know what the hell this the technology's screaming at us, so I guess it's time to go. Uh yeah, tune into the next video. Goodbye.